of the team has to follow certain methodologies. This is where the objectives will have some kind of an achievement as a target. What will be the achievement? What will, what will be the target? The target will be zero accident or zero ill health competency in the organization. I mean, competency is the basic necessary or basic knowledge level. The next one, what we are talking about is going to be safety committee. Why we need a safety committee? Because we need a safety committee in the organization where a safety concern on the employee level or the ground, what you call it, the shop floor level has to be discussed. Let's go to a topic called selection of contractors. So what we say, what we mean normally as a contractor, because contractual employee means he works on a contractual basis. How the team is going to work on a contractual basis? That means there's a fixed time for that. Suppose you say the contract begins with so and so date and then so and so date. Means it'll have a starting date and ending date. We go to move to the other topic called factors influencing the culture of safety. What are the factors influencing the safety culture of the organization? So you know, what there are several what you call factors which is influencing. One could be behavioral factor. When you work, work in the industry, you'll also have the same attitude when the people are following the, the safety culture properly. The person who joins newly also will follow the same thing. And when he sees something happening around and it goes unnoticed, so he will also follow the same method because it is an acceptable term or it, it's an acceptable methodology. That's where the, the culture plays a role. So and move to another topic called accident. So what you say normally is accident. It's unplanned activity. It's unplanned. So accident is not needed or it's, uh, it's what an unwanted thing in the organization. Sickness or the rate of sickness and absenteeism, staff turnover also in the organization normally happen. As a definition of sickness, what do you, what do you say sickness means? Sure, you have some issue in the body or somewhere you are uh, having some kind of, a kind of a discomfort. Either headache, back pain, or joint pain, or even eye strain, all these things, sickness, which could lead to an, what you call a disease later on. Now, you have a small neck pain because I work on the system every day. You have a neck pain. We feel, suppose if we take it, neglect it, or we treat it carelessly, it could end up in some other issue or some other disease. You need to go for a proper, regular, what you call that, routine health checkup. That is where health and safety program or health and safety coming into. So we'll go to the uh, next definition of compliance, obligation, or we can say compliance to the regulation. When you say normally to the regulation or the obligatory compliance, they're all nothing but legal requirements, statutory regulatory norms, which cannot be avoided. The organization definitely has to do that. Definitely has to comply with that, such norms. Compliance to the regulation, that's all. Very simple. 